Alright, so let's have a look at the eyes. His weirdly he's either got skin colored eyes or he's closing his eyes, which is not necessarily you want a surgeon to do. So we're gonna have to paint his eyes. Great. Alright, I don't want to draw too much attention by making them bright white, so instead I'm gonna paint them Uthwan Grey. Yes, yes, yes. You're not the surgeon here, cat. Wow, nice. That was just passive aggressive. Now, let's see what we can do. Oh god. Okay, well I got it off him. Good. Let's, let's try a different brush. That one was way too big. And the paint was far too wet as well. Right, let's see how this goes. Okay. I don't think that's gonna work, so I have another idea. Alright, I've dug out my Reichland flesh shade again. And I've got my liner brush. I'm gonna see if I can just sort of load up his eye with it. Well, not load up, but you know, just, just add some more. The focus is real. I'm trying to get these eyes right. It's either too much or it's too little. There is no in between. There is no middle ground. In the grim darkness of the far future, there is only bug eyed space marines. Okay, I may have achieved something. My hope is that once that's dry, I can then put some Reichland Flesh Shade over it again, and that will dull it back down. While still being notably eye-like, eyeful. Get an eyeful of that. Okay, um, cool, I think. <laughs> Looks like he's ascending or something. Okay, nice. All right, now that's dry. Let's jump back to the Reichland Flesh Shade. There we go, okay, that's good. Yeah, you can definitely see there is some kind of difference in where his eyes are. Nice, good. It's not perfect, but it's, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased with that, actually. I look forward to one day being able to do perfect eyes like those crazy pro people can do. But nice, I'm very proud of that in the meantime. And sleep. All right, so now we're going to finally work on some of the details of his uh, extra limbs. Well, first off, the outer casing of this light is the same color as his armor. So we're going to paint that Corax white, and I'm going to get a split brush. I will roll you like a crocodile rolls at dinner. There we go. Nope, different brush. This one wants to be difficult, fine. I ain't gonna play its game. Brush be trolling. Paint over that red light, so I want to do something else there anyway. I didn't mean to do it the red like I did. I was being very silly. Get the white in that little gap. Nice. Nice, that looks really good for it. Excellent. Now, I'm just not sure how best to do the light in there. I want it to have a yellowish tint, but I don't want it to be full yellow. Yellow. But in absence of any better ideas, I'm going to get some Avalon Sunset and thin it down more than it already is. Hello, you evil bastard color. How are you today? Right. Let's see what we can do. At least it's a bit more cooperative on white, I suppose. Oh yes, I know this is full on yellow, but I plan to layer it with something. Again, it's not too bad like that. It's, it's fairly, fairly washed. Hmm, maybe we'll just keep it like that then. Just go over the bars across the light and yeah. Okay. Okay, solid, yeah. Just because I don't want to touch yellow no more. Right, got the white back. Let's just go over these bars again. Cool, nice. Okay, yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. He's got a lemon tart on his shoulder. Okay, now I have an idea for how to do a light and I want to try this out. Let's see if this idea works. First, I'm going to get a bit of Calgar blue. And I do mean a bit. Here we go. I'm going to trace it around the edge of this. Okay, cool. It's very, very slight. Then I'm going to get some very thinned down Araman blue. I didn't really work as I intended, but you know what, sorry, I'll keep it anyway. It's quite a cool colour. It's not bad, it's just not a torch. And we'll put back that smidgen of corn red on here. I will, uh, in future, work on how best to do small lights. But for now, I will keep this here as a reminder to myself, to my future self, of how this technique that my future self will master so unequivocally is something I was not always able to do. Yes, I am being optimistic. Cool, nice. All right, just because I saw them, these cables here, I've got a bit of orange in my uh, wet palette from not too long ago. So I'm going to just use it. Definitely be a multi-layer jobby. Cool beans, nice, nice. It's very thin, I know, but I haven't got any other orange other than Fire Dragon Bright, and well, that's bright, and I don't want it being too bright. <laughs> It's gonna have to be fire dragon thin for now. Then we'll add some of this armament to the middle, I think. Got clusters of wires and cables. Why couldn't they just coil them up in one big cable rather than have several small ones? It makes my life harder. Nice, nice, nice. And I've got some leftover yellow from that light, so sod it, that can go in as well. Or at least I thought I did. Come on, get on me brush. Not that I want you on my brush, cursed yellow, but I need you. Here we go, it's very dim. 
probably needs another layer at some point, but other than that, not bad, not bad, not bad. Did I say it's not bad? Cool. Right, now I think all his arms on his back need now is just some certain parts to be made black. So let's do that, and then I'm pretty sure that's those servo arms done. It's a little thinner. I think I'll make all these rivets here black, just for a bit of interesting contrast. There we go, nice. I'm not doing them too thick black, almost like it's a black metal, you know what I mean? That's the vibe I'm aiming for. Get this cable black, because some cables like to be black. Yes, I'm talking to you, tri-cable. Put some black in the hand grips, there we go. Nice, when that's all shaded and highlighted and whatnot, that should look really nice. Cool, excellent. Let's get this cable black. Oh dear, I think there's something wrong with this guy. Let's just uh, help him out. There we go. He was watching a particularly sexy Primark walk by. Cool beans. Right, and again, since I still have some of my wet palette, I'm going to make this white cable Araman blue. Why? We don't know. I'm sure it means something to an apothecary. Very nice. Once again, we'll blacken over the edges of this. It's very probably just my manhandling of it as well. Causes the black of this to chip away. That's better. Smidgen of fire dragon. There we go. Bit of warpstone green. There we go. Bit of mephiston. Core XY in those gaps there. Nice. Right, now I'm going to assume that these vials here are stop and go juice again, so he's going to get a top up of that. His arm's in the way. But dude, just raise your arms. Like trying to dress a five year old. Nice, there we are. Then I'm pretty confident Moot Green will be the go juice, because I can't remember what I did for the other. Or did I? No, that's a bit too bright, isn't it? Yeah. What do you want, cat? You know, it was probably just Warpstone again, wasn't it? Yeah, just Warpstone glow, I think. Let's see if I can do this for the cat notices. I have a moving thing that he can swat. Oh no, he's chilling, he's chilling. There we go. Okay, for some reason it came out a bit muted, which is odd, but ah well. Cool beans. And just a couple more little base colours, I and mean, then I think he's done. You know, for base colours. Spawn, he has the bits there, which I think probably needs to be silver. He has a skull there that needs to be gold, and a stripey bit there that needs to be silver. Right, let's clean up the wreckage the cat has left. Right, just going to use my liner on this bit here. Nice. Cool, cool. Since I still have on my liner, some on my liner brush. I know it's not very effective, but sorry, I may as well just get it off. There we go. Right, oh, that's off my liner brush. I can actually use a proper brush to do the rest of it. Pretty good, though, even just for that. There we go, a bit more respectable. Alright, then lastly, the gold skull that I nearly missed. Why do I keep picking up the brush that splits? I know it splits, but why do I do it? There we go, just about done. Nice. Alright, so now before we go any further with him, let's have another quick look at this base bit here. Took you down. I'm very pleased with this. The last thing I want to add to it is some smatters of blood for the blood god. Because even though he's probably been lying there for a little while, his blood thing is freshly extracted. Get it shake, 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 shake. Nice. I've got a bit of sponge here with some on. I'm just gonna sort of yeah, we're gonna dab it off and that'll be okay. Alright, here we go. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, cool. Alright, cool. And I'll do for the splatters. I am gonna add an actual brush stroke of the stuff. Whoop, as well. The gene seeds around the back of the neck, isn't it, I believe, or something. Okay. Cool, nice. Good, good, good. Smear a bit under and between his fingers. Not tons, literally just a smidgen. There we go, nice. Okay, cool, good. We will also do that on the apothecary himself, but after I've done some other bits to him. Yeah, looks very good, if slightly disrespectful. Nice. All right, so now I'm going to start doing the shading. I'm going to shade him with uh, Nuln Oil. Good stuff, Nuln Oil. Yes, indeed. Hey, you. Hello there, sneezy one. Ugh, gross. You're right in the way, lad. Move that booty. Move that cat booty. You really don't want to leave, do you? Uh. Right, there we go. I've done the uh, recess shading around the place. Looks very good for it. The lines pop a bit more, and uh, places like the poles in there are a bit darker in the corner where they'll be a bit more hidden. Excellent. Right, and in that line there as well, for instance. Cool. Excellent. So, we'll pop that aside for now, and we're going to do the same to that guy. Here we go. Good, good, good. It's kind of redundant to do the back of the neck, I know, but still. One can appreciate the finer, hidden away details. Like the inside of a dreadnought sarcophagus, well not the inside of their sarcophagus, but under the armor plating, hiding a dreadnought sarcophagus. There we go. Inside the sarcophagus will just be wet meat. Cool. Uh, shading looks good. Excellent. Right. This guy won't need as much, but he's still going to get a little bit around where the plate meets his skin. Oh yes, I also need to paint that bit there silver. And I just very quickly do that now. There we go. Very nice. Right, with the helmet on, so far just the shading. Looks really good. Excellent. 
So a quitlet with a bare head. Also very good. Excellent. Very pleased. Though I did also just notice the little headlight here. Probably going to quickly give that a do-over. Then we're going to move on to the highlights. There we go. All I did was add some very, 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 very thin down uh, rust grey in there. And I think that's all I need. I'll just go over the, uh, the cross itself with some silver or something. Or maybe I'll keep it white. No, sorry, I'll keep it white, actually, because it's like they painted it white. All right, cool. So it torches are off at the moment, if you would. Nice. All right, now we're going to do highlights. And I'm going to start with this helmet, just because I can. And of course, there aren't many things that can highlight Korax white, except for white scar. So let's do this. Let's get a load in my wet palette. Add some water. Hopefully that's enough. All right, it's quite thin. Not too much on my brush. We'll see how that rolls. And yes, I'm using one with a curved edge, just so I can do bits like this a bit more easily. Okay, we can definitely see it. Let's see how it is when I add a little more onto my brush, because I don't want to get halfway through the whole thing and decide, nah, I want more on it. Let's see how it looks here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, yeah, I reckon we're going to roll with that. Nice. All right, cool. It's very light, but I quite like it. Excellent. Right, now we'll head over to the main... Actually, no. I'm going to completely finish this one up. Add some... Stormhost Silver. Here we go. Nice. Excellent. All right, so now I've got this twinge of Mephiston Red on here. There we go. It's very slight, but it is very good for it. Excellent. A little bit in the eye as well. Excellent. Cool. Nice. All right, I'd say that's the helmet. Good and dusted. Grande dandy. Boop. Right, so now we'll do the bare head. Try a slightly different brush for this one. Annoyingly, I've got to kind of do this at the tip of the brush. Here we go. It's very faint. I wonder if I have to make it... Well, not have to, but I wonder if I should make it a bit more clear. Just a little. A smidgen. There we go. All right. Cool beans. Don't know how obvious it is on camera, but I can see it with my human eyes. Now the Stormhost Silver. There we are. I think it went a bit on his skin, but never mind. Cool. Excellent. Very good. Nice, nice, nice. Still got his eyes shut, but oh well, surgery can be horrific sometimes. All right. Now we'll do the body itself. Very nice. All right. So let's see if I can edge up the inside of this pauldron edge without messing up my blue. Ooh, nearly did, but not quite. Yeah, very nice. Here we are. All right, I think that's all the uh, the white highlights of note done. There we go. Nice, nice. Can't see it super well, certainly not as well as you could on a regular ultramarine with their blue, but you can see it. It does look very good. All right, so now we're going to do some of the final highlights. So I'm very curious what happens if I was to scrape on a bit of uh, Evil Sun Scarlet onto this cape here. Is it too much or is it all right? It's very dramatic, that's for sure. It doesn't work so well on the top half, but the bottom half, yeah, you know what, sod it, I like it. We're well, gonna keep it. All right, yeah, I like it actually, yeah, nice. A little bit on the back there as well, cool. Nice, yeah, I like that. Now that it's dried off a little, yeah. Pop a little bit on that red as well while we're here. And a bit on that one, nice. Right, so now we're going to do the highlights for the blacks, like the gun and that holster and the back holster there. But first, I'm going to once again go over the edges of that with uh, Abaddon Black. Because it just likes to curl away from the edge. He's a nuisance, bro. There we are. Lovely. So we shall begin with Eshin Grey. Here we go. Nice, nice. Much like highlights, you may mainly see it in the light. I love it. Cool. All right, that's the Eshin. Now we'll give that a moment to dry, and then we're going to jump to highlighting it again with Dawnstone on the hard edges. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's all coming together. This side of the gun I won't do much Dawnstone on because it's in the shadow of his leg. But that bit there deserves it. There we go. Nice. There we go. A bit of like highlighting around the uh, symbol there. Nice. A couple little bits that I missed with things, like a bit of Stormhost over this. There we go. And then speaking of which, storm host for these guys. Make them look good and shiny. Help us get rid of that orange spill as well. There we go. Cool, it's very slight, but it is there. Nice, I like it. Okay, now there's a couple of final bits of shading to be done. Like Agrax Earthshade on his parchments there. And first, I think we'll try putting a bit of writing on it first. I keep meaning to buy one of those narrow tip pens. And I always forget until I'm at this moment. I'm like, oh, fair. there. I'm a silly boy. But oh well. This looks perfectly literate as well. There we go. Nice. Very good. A red on there, so we'll quickly just paint over that. There we go. Nice. I do know it's my manhandling of it that often chips away at the paint, so I shall remedy that down the line. When it's the usual blue, it's not so bad. It can help result in the battle-worn look that I go for, but uh, when it's white, yeah, it's a 
Bit of a different story. Oh, that knee keeps going red, so you know what? I'm gonna go over it once more with Korax. Again, probably my manhandling, but... Meh. There we go. Nice. And now, let's Earthshade this lovely thing. Nice. There we go. Let's quickly touch this up again. There we go. Bit of black there. There we go. And now, with this Reichland Flesh Shade, we're gonna go over some of the golds. Like this one down here, and this little fella right here. Cool. I feel like I've already done these with Reichland, but... Oh well. It was long ago and I forgot, and it probably could do with another layer anyway. Lovely. Alright, so now I'll add a bit of the highlights to these. Bit of Mephiston right around the edges. Nice. Cool. Now you know what I did just realize? There is a skull under there, but it's not gold. And this is a problem. It must be gold. Or it is wrong. But it's in a rather tucked away place. So we're gonna have to do this extra savvy like. Well damn, that went really well. <laughs> what happened? Nice, cool. And while that dies, we'll... Dies? While that dries, we'll do another highlight onto the purity seals with some pink horror. Just along the very top. There we go. Cool, lovely. Right then, let's just quickly stick him ahead. Stick him ahead, give him a head. There we go, and see how he looks with this. Good. Again, I'm not going too crazy with highlights on the lower one, because I don't want it to take away from him. Cool. Alright, I think they're basically ready to stick to a base. About time, right? Cool. So it's going to overhang a little. Be something like that. Cool. Alright, nice, nice. Let's do this. I think I'll use super glue for inside this bit. There we go. Likely just around. There we go. Get glue on this foot. Yeah. Alright. It is time. Good. There we go. He's locked in. Very nice. Excellent. So now that leaves three more things to be done. That is the base itself, uh, adding a bit of blood splatter to this fella, and then of course, the transfer. I think I'm going to do the transfer first. To get it out of the way. Can't find me scissors, so I'm doing it this way. And honestly, so far, despite how janky my snippers are, it's going very well. All right, here we go. First, micro set onto the pauldron. Nice. Now I'll just let that sit there for a moment. In the meantime, I guess we may as well work on that blood splatter. Here we go. Lovely bit of blood for the blood god. Okie dokie. There we go. Bit of it on me thing here. Let's see how this goes. Nearly lost him. A bit around his foot. Not too much though. Hello. Oh no. This just came off. Bruh. I'll have to reattach that in a moment. Here we go. And that slid around. Must have been when I nearly dropped him, but thankfully. There we go. I'll be able to smooth that out in a moment. Okay, let's quickly just... Uh, glue that lost bit back on. I'm gonna use just a tiny drop of super glue. Okay, cool. Like that's set, and in the meantime, we may as well blood up his face. Okay, there we go. There we go. Wipe a bit. There we go, almost like he has wiped his face. There we go. Nice. Cool. I'll quickly do the same with the helmet. Perfect. Again, quickly wipe away some of it. There we go. Nice. Like he's had a spray on his face. Good. It was a messy one, but he did it. Oh damn, I just noticed that the entire edge of that has gone red, that magnifying glass. Not quite what I want, so I think I'm probably just going to quickly go over that with silver. Not too much, because I want some blood to still be there. There we go. That looks good. Yeah, that's much better. Good. Now, while I'm looking at it, we'll add a bit of the old micro sole to this. Lovely jubbly. Fairly liberal. Excellent. Should use this bit of tissue to just scare away what's pooling there. There we are. Nice. Get away to remove. There we go. To remove. You know what I never did? I never added writing over here, so we're gonna apparently not try that now. Oh, the cat's sneezing his head off. I was hoping I had enough black in my wet palette, but apparently not. Let's add a bit more. There we are. He's got some writing. Cool. I like the idea of also keeping that parchment fairly light, like I have done. So, I'm gonna keep doing that. Not as dark as those ones there. You know what? It just occurred to me. Probably add a bit of blood for the blood god on this drill as well. Cool. Nice. Very nice. Very grim. All right, so now, assuming I'm not forgetting anything, which I probably am, but regardless, it's time to do the base up. And of course, what better way to do it than the way I always do it? Astrogranite. All right, here we go. I just realized I forgot to add Mechanica Standard Grey to the base first, like I normally do. Oh well, let's see how this goes first, shall we? I always forget more and more things. The closer to the end of the project I get, I guess I'm just excited to like, move on to the next thing, you know what I mean? I guess that's relatable, isn't it? Cool, nice. Blends in fairly well with the body as well. It'll do so even more when uh, I shade it, I'm sure. Cool, nice. Blend in a little bit, there we go. Very cool. Right, and with that dry, now I'm going to wash the base with non oil. So it allows me to blend it in as well with uh, the model part of the base. Now I'll wait for that to dry as well. 
All right, cool. And now that's been done, we are going to dry brush this son of a gun with some Eshin Grey. Also get a little bit on his legs as well. Dusty world and all that jazz. Make him look like he needs a good clean. Cool, very nice. Bit of dust added to the feet, a bit to the bottom of the cape as well. I might actually double down on that. I'm gonna put a little bit more on this dry brush and go over just that bit. Here we go, cool. Yeah, now he's got a bit of dirt on his cape. Well, tunic. Um, Gamberson? I don't remember. Well guys, here we are at the end of the Apothecary series, and I must say he's looking pretty dapper despite all the blood. In fact, maybe because of all the blood, it looks really good. And the transfer as well. That went off without a hitch, I'm happy to say. There are a couple things I can improve on as well this time, as usual. Um, I think the biggest takeaway was that I think I definitely need to get myself some gloves for the next one. That way I won't get my greasy mitts all over the model. But despite that, it still went really well. Let's check him out without the helmet. Doop. Nice, looking really cool. Right, thank you so much for watching, guys. Again, if you enjoyed this, please do remember to like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Consider joining the Discord. Consider becoming a YouTube member. It's all grand and dandy. And so with that, myself, Dr. Jones, Flat Fred here, and Bruce, we'll all see you next time. Let's go, dudes. <laughs>